up guys this is Matt Watson coming to you from the camper van that he called Mo. This week I'm going to show you how I did all of the plumbing in this bad boy and installed a sink that is completely functional without use of any electrical whatsoever. But first I have to introduce you to my inspiration. They say that behind every successful man there is a woman. Well for me it's this live edge slab. <sighs> man we've been through a lot together. I was there the day she was born. And I remember I brought her home that day. She was a beautiful 40 pounds, 13 ounces. And I pampered her immediately. I sanded her down with sandpaper with grit so high, it's illegal in 13 countries. For many months, we would laugh and bathe in the sun together until she got completely dehydrated and ready for installation. Well, guys, that day is now. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? So the way this sink works is through this handy little military foot pump that was given to me last Christmas uh, by my brother-in-law and my sister. Um, you push the pedal, it sucks water, and shoots it out the sink. That easy. No electricity. It's brilliant. Let me break down exactly what you need so it'll be very easy for you if you ever want to throw one of these together. Because this pump itself just comes with a manual that shows you how to take it apart, which isn't so good if you just want it to work. Um, so what I needed was a half inch uh, tube, which is this one right here, um, that is going into my water supply, which is right here. Um, so this is my good water. Every time I push the pump, it sucks water from here up and around into the pump, then goes into my other hose, uh, which is pushing the water. And if you follow that, it's a little bit longer for no apparent reason, um, but it falls, comes around here and around and up into the back of my beautiful faucet. If the faucet's closed, you can't push the pump. The faucet's open, here we go, we got water. It's that easy. So I needed both of these hoses. And I guess the only other issue was over here. Let me show you. So this faucet has two pipes coming down. One is for hot, one is for cold. I didn't know which is which. I don't think it matters. Um, I bought this little guy, um, which is just a muzzle. Um, and it covers it and seals it. I might put a little bit of silicone around there to make sure there's no moisture coming through. And then on this side, I bought this adapter which screws onto this other end, um, and then it gives you a place to plug in your hose. And over here, this is my dad's walker because he just had surgery. Um, usually he's out here helping me, but uh, I've got his walker, so. I was planning on making the backsplash out of actual tile. Then I was gifted this stuff. Not only does it look awesome, but it sticks on and it's got instructions on every one of the package. And let me tell you, this is not a waste of paper whatsoever. It's like this tile knows me. He's like, hey man, I know you ignored all the instructions on every one of the previous tiles and now you're stuck, but don't worry, I'm idiot proof. Here, once again, is everything you need to do to complete this job correctly. Whereas the sink that I got that had a drain that I struggled with for an hour only came with these instructions. Cut out the sink, put it in, that's it. Yeah, but what about the drain that you sent? For that, you're on your own. I mean, you could have put it on the other side of the page. No, we won't do that, but I did give you the exact same instructions, but in French. But that's completely unnecessary. These are mostly pictures. We, oui. bon chance. So we got the sink in. If we look out underneath, this is the drain that's gonna be coming from my sink. It comes with a little nozzle that you screw on, but I'm in this weird limbo where the bottle that needs to fit underneath needs to slide in and out easily so I don't spill dirty water all over the place. So what I've done is I took the cap that they sent me, uh, took, a, <laughs> took a rubber glove, um, I fastened that on it with an elastic, and I'm hoping this will still screw on like it's supposed to, and it does. And now I've got this little nozzle. Oh, the glove thumb is running into the bottle. That's not going anywhere. All right, for a little extra security so that the water doesn't escape, I've got these little uh, grips that you screw on. So I'm gonna be adding that to each side of my uh, military pump. You know, just, just tighten it that little bit extra, just to remind it this is where it's staying. It's not going anywhere, feels pretty tight. And I'll do the same for the other side. So I've realized my foot pump 
fits in the space I had planned for it, but when it is locked in there, um, the only way to get this battery out would be to completely disconnect the pump. So I'm sawing into my sturdy frame to make a little crevice so that that pump can sneak in and out so that uh, I can have access to my battery. She's tight, but she fits. Sweet. So the way the system works is you have this jug completely full of water. Once you've gone through it all, you have another. To unscrew the top, the goal is to have one of the tops you leave as normal. The other top, you put a hole in. Switch one jug, replace the other. You're good to go for another six gallons or 23 liters. Whichever you prefer. Put the other cap back on and then boom. Slide it there until the next station. Let's say you're doing the dishes, you know, you're here. Do more water as you pump it out. Everything feels dry back there. We did it! Come on. Well guys, as always, by watching this video, you are already supporting me. So thank you so much for doing that. You want to go a little bit extra, and it's not that hard. All you got to do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then send this video to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He put in some plumbing, and he's hilarious. Um, in the next couple weeks, I am putting together the Ignite the Laughter Comedy Tour with my younger sister, Sarah. So tune in soon to find out what those dates are. But thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next week.